One Silent Night in 1956. A baby boy was born in the remote village of Kabimoy in Baringo County. He was named Jackson Kipkimboy Kusgei. 55 years later, the man born to a World War II veteran and a peasant farmer. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yes, yes, how are you? Celebrates a life he lived normally for only five years. And I'm the fourth born child to my parents. So I was born normal, Judy, and at the age of five I suffered polio, a disease that shattered the dream of my family. Some people explained uh, that um, there could have been a curse in the family. My own late mother thought it was just um, a bad eye. And according to my mother, I, I looked very handsome. I was the most handsome child uh, of all the children. The physical condition locked him out from what his 11 siblings were enjoying, including an education he so much yearned for. And by the age of 19, he had almost given up. I contemplated maybe the best thing to do is to commit suicide. The generation of the upright... But thanks to a young lady who introduced him to what would eventually turn around his life and philosophy, the word of God. He said a simple prayer then. I am perfectly human like anybody else. And I knew I was going to raise a family, so I said I want to be useful to that family. Thanks, thirdly, I want to be useful to the church. At the age of 20, he wanted to go to school and start a family. He did the two concurrently, later becoming a pastor and a motivational speaker. I discovered that I got a life to live. If I want to live that life, what is it in me that I have that can be useful to me? And I discovered that I cannot make use of my, uh, my legs, I cannot walk. I got married in 1977 um, we, to, to Rose. We were blessed with our first born in 1978. And like Adam said when he was given the first son, Cain, he said, God, we have been able to create a human being. And, uh, and, and, and the same thing has happened to us, um, Amy was born in the process. The birth of Rose and Bishop Kosgei's second child, a girl who was to surprisingly become a household name in the music industry decades later. <laughs> Amy Kosgei. Amy grew up and a very exciting child. We thought she was going to be a lawyer. And uh, we prepared everything, but not until when she just joined secondary school, high school, when Amy um, shown some interest in music. When we asked Amy, uh, why do you want to sing in Kalenjin? She said, music has its language. It is that language that brought hundreds of fans together during the launch of our new album, Ololo, last Sunday at Nairobi Pentecostal Church, Valley Road, Nairobi. And, you know, I kept looking at the crowd and asked, who am I? <laughs> I'm just here because gay. May God prosper your ways. When we came for the launch, we were coming like anybody else. And we, we didn't come as special people. We came as part of the fans and, 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 and the friends. I asked Bishop Kuzge about his appearance at the International Criminal Court as a defense witness for one of the post-election violence suspects, Joshua Arab Sang. I don't know whether I'm famous. I don't know whether I'm infamous. But the fact is, I did what I thought it was right. In a family where God is the pillar, his joy, he says, is to see his four children live their lives to the fullest. Judy Kosge, Citizen TV, your story.